Welcome to the Demystifying Medicine McMaster YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be demystifying the global decline in the age of monarchy. First, what is monarchy? The definition of monarchy is the first occurrence of menstruation, or the first period, which essentially indicates the beginning of puberty. There is a secular trend in the age of monarchy, as the mean age when females hit monarchy in the global population has been declining for the last 150 years. As shown in the graph, the age of monarchy in Western countries was about 16 in the 1840s and 12.5 by the 2000s. Decline at this rate suggests that the mean age of puberty is approaching the biological limit. But why should we be concerned? Early monarchy has been linked to a higher risk of developing breast cancer, ovarian cancer, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and psychological or mental health issues. Early puberty specifically can take a toll on an individual's mental health and can lead to increased substance abuse, depression, anxiety, frequent mood swings, and changes in sleep patterns. The chances of these outcomes are exponentially increased if menstruation occurs before their peers due to the feeling of being the odd one out. Now that we have a bit of background on monarchy in the global and historical context, let's now learn about some factors that may explain this trend specifically in the categories of biological, environmental, and social factors. One biological factor that influences the monarchy age is BMI, or body mass index, which is a calculation that takes into account your height and weight to estimate your body fat. Studies suggest that adolescents who are overweight, meaning they have a relatively high BMI, experience an earlier monarchy age. In the last 40 years, we have seen 10 times more obesity in girls globally, which could explain why monarchy is occurring earlier. Similarly, children who do not meet developmental markers like height can show a delayed or early onset of a menstrual period. Over the last 150 years, where we have seen a decline in the age of monarchy, we also see an increase in height across the population. Hence, it can be theorized that with this natural ability to meet developmental requirements earlier, came an earlier age of puberty and menstruation. On top of biological factors, several environmental factors are associated with early monarchy. For example, nutritional factors like high protein intake are associated with an early monarchy, while high vegetable intake is associated with a late monarchy. Perhaps one explanation for this decline is therefore a global decrease in vegetable intake, which is proven by a study from 2020 which concluded that the current vegetable supply in 61% of countries is insufficient to meet the recommendations set out by the World Health Organization. Another example of an environmental factor is exposure to toxins and pollutants. For instance, exposure to PCB, which is a chemical compound used in industrial products, is associated with a delayed monarchy. In the past, before the health risks of this compound were discovered, PCB was commonly found in everyday industrial and consumer products, and consequently, individuals were exposed at much higher levels. However, now PCB is no longer used in industrial manufacturing, meaning the global exposure has been significantly reduced. Trends like this could explain an average earlier monarchy. Finally, social factors like stress and lack of paternal influence in childhood have interestingly also been linked to an early monarchy. However, these factors are more difficult to theorize about because they haven't been well studied throughout history. For instance, we can hypothesize that the rate of anxiety and depression is greater in the present day, but that might simply be because of increased awareness and access to mental health diagnoses. In future years, the secular trend is expected to continue as the age of monarchy and onset of puberty continuously decline. With this, the rate of associated diseases and illnesses that we discussed earlier on in the video are expected to grow. As the biological limit is reached, the secular trend is expected to plateau for a few decades before continuing its decline. In this video, we learned about monarchy, its secular declining trend, why this trend is becoming an issue, and finally, biological, environmental, and social factors that may explain this. Thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.